Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the past, present, and future energies for you in love and who you might be dealing with. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Spirit Angels, Guides, Messages, please. Guidance for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know regarding love? What the person they are thinking about or connecting with? What does Pisces need to know? All right, so I'm actually going to um, cut the deck, which I haven't done for any of the other signs, but I just feel like doing that this time around. So let's cut the deck. And I'm going to pick out um, three cards for what's going on in your connection, three cards for your energies, and three cards for their energies. So in your connection, we have Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Three of Cups. In your energies, Pisces, and of course, you can flip these energies between you and this other person if it resonates more for you. Uh, for your energies, we have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Cups. And for their energies, we have the Page of Pentacles reversed, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles reversed. So something's not working out. Um, someone's probably not putting in the, the effort or energy required. Um, let me move this before I keep... Because I noticed that in another reading, they couldn't really see the cards down here. Okay. Um, Three of Pentacles reverse is basically people that cannot work together. Or there's some sort of issue, interference that keeps um, a group or two people from working together uh, in harmony. Uh, and then I have the Three of Cups here uh, in what's going on between you, what's going on in your connection. So there could be some sort of third party situation happening here. I don't want to right away say that that's the case, but this is a little too much of a coincidence. The fact that the Three of Pentacles is reversed and then we have the Three of Cups there. So we'll clarify and see. Um, the Eight of Cups is a card all about walking away. So someone could be walking away from this connection or thinking about walking away from this connection. Um, someone could have already walked away in the recent past as well. I feel it could be um, someone that is exhibiting this energy of the Queen of Swords. Almost like someone's just done, you know? Um, tough to approach, tough to deal with. Uh, the Queen of Swords is usually very guarded, very protective of, over themselves. Um, so something must have happened here in your connection or is happening right now where at least one of you is a queen of swords uh, maybe you are more concerned with the truth than you are with feelings maybe this is somebody that has been hurt and so they're much harder to approach now you know because they're just they have this really tough exterior so i want to get down to the bottom of what this queen of swords means because sometimes the uh, queen of swords could be that someone's getting to the bottom of something so let's see tell me about the queen of swords for pisces why is the Queen of Swords here? This one. The Empress. Okay, someone's recognizing their value, recognizing their worth, or communicating about expansion. Let's see. Can I get one more for the Queen of Swords? What do we need to know? For the Queen of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Um, I feel like this is somebody that's recognizing what they put in the effort, the work, the energy they put into something and how they are um, actually work, willing to work on things, willing to work, to, uh, compromise and work with others, uh, the three of pentacles. So I feel like this queen of swords is somebody who they understand that they've tried, um, that they've tried to work on things. They, they recognize that they have been, um, I heard like the bigger person, um, we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I think this is, yeah, and the Six of Pentacles. Is this some, yeah, and the Seven of Wands. This is someone that's thinking about the effort that they've put into this connection, I feel. Um, and how maybe they haven't gotten the same in return. I feel like someone's intuition or inner voice is guiding them. Or this is just something, a deep knowledge or something that they know deep down. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Why did I think about the Empress? The minute I put down the Hierophant, I looked over at the Empress. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Cups. 
Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Someone mistreated this Empress. This Empress could be you, and someone could have mistreated you, Pisces, or it was the other way around. I could see, you know, feel free to flip it if it resonates more. I think someone was unfaithful or just was acting out um, rather than, you know, doing things, being loyal and doing the right thing. Um, with the Hierophant here, I think this was somebody that was sneaking around. They weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing, basically. And I think it hurt this Empress because as soon as I put down the Hierophant, I, I thought about the Empress, I looked at the Empress, and I think it's because the Empress was probably taking this seriously, this connection seriously. The Empress was probably um, thinking that this was a situation where values were important, doing the right thing is important. Someone could have deceived you or hid something from you. Tell me about the Three of Cups. And this does not have to happen. be happening right now. This could have happened in the past or uh, be happening in the near future. Time is fluid, but um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not picking up great energy here. It's almost like someone is leaving uh, due to uh, this Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? The Hermit Virgo energy. Tell me about this Three of Cups. What's this Three of Cups about? Why is the Three of Cups here? Page of Wands. Is this someone thinking, planning their next steps here? Um, I'm also getting, um, no, this is someone thinking about their next step because I just looked down at the magicians at the bottom of the deck. Now, the Hermit and the Page of Wands, to me, I think of two very different people. So one of you could have retreated and the other one is wanting to reach out. I do see that. Um, one of you could be taking time out for yourself, doing some reflecting, and the other one's more like wanting to take action and wanting to get back in there. This is someone with a goal in mind. It, the goal could be to talk, King of Swords after the Magician here. So the goal could be to come, you know, clear the air, say something, you know, Say, say the truth about something and I, I, I'm thinking that could be your person because they have the Knight of Swords. So I feel this is someone that might be wanting to come back together, this Three of Cups. Rather than, I mean, it could still be a third party situation, someone kind of in the way. Um, and if it is a third party situation that you're dealing with, then it makes sense that someone would want to retreat and kind of take time out for themselves and do a lot of thinking and reflecting on what the hell's going on. But others of you, I think that this might be um, someone wanting to reconnect and maybe there there's a goal in mind with that, the Three of Cups. We'll see if that comes up um, in any of your energies when I clarify to find out, who, you know, does someone want to reconnect and what's that all about, right? Because something definitely happened here. Someone was not playing fair with the seven of swords someone was not really being the most ethical here and it could be that they were wearing a mask the hierophant here the hierophant could even be seen as the complete opposite of the seven of swords seven of swords is somebody that they would um they would be willing to do what's not ethical willing to kind of cut corners sneak out, you know, do do things behind other people's backs. And the Hierophant, that's not that energy of the Hierophant. The Hierophant's all about doing the right thing, following the rules, societal expectations, um, looking like you are a good citizen, a, you know, a good Samaritan. Like the Hierophant's almost like the teacher's pet. <laughs> so very opposite energies here. So it could be that somebody was wearing a mask this whole time um, but I think honestly what happened is that somebody could have been playing around, um, doing, you know, things that they weren't supposed to be doing in this connection and it caused someone to walk away or it caused a departure. So let's look down at your energies here. In your energy, you have the Five of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there's disappointment on your side because with the Ace of Wands, it's, it's like maybe you thought this was it or this had a lot of potential, or there was a lot of passion here. But with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, it's almost like you didn't get what you deserved, 
or someone couldn't commit to you or someone couldn't give to you Pisces um, and if they did give something to you it was much less than you deserved and I think that's why there's disappointment here tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse you could also with this ace of wands be thinking about a new beginning um, you know reflecting on the past but thinking about a new beginning tell me about actually tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse yeah tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse what's this about yeah ten of wands burdens obligations a weight on, on a connection a weight in your heart feeling burdened tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse yeah five of cups I think you're 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 very sad and disappointed at how things ended up Pisces nine of wands at the bottom of the deck I feel like you are this Queen of Swords you're you are um, protecting yourself because you've been hurt with you know tell me about this five of cups Tell me about the five of cups strength yeah leo energy maybe you're trying to be strong trying to be brave um trying to get a hold on your emotions control how you feel um you don't want to overreact the strength card would be somebody that perhaps does not want to overreact or or do something um impulsive Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What do we need to know about this Ace of Wands? Queen of Cups. This is somebody. Yeah, you're 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 thinking about. Um, there's an emotional need that you have to have this new beginning. I feel, or perhaps you were really in love. If this Ace of Wands represents the potential of something, the beginning of something great, then you were all in with your heart. Thinking that this would be your happy ending, perhaps. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. If this is not how you feel about the potential of something, this could be what you are desiring, what you would like to have. And it would be very emotionally fulfilling for you to have this. Like this would be something that would... I don't know. I don't want to say complete you, but it would add a lot to your life emotionally. You know, you would be really happy with this. Let me get some insight for Pisces and the energy they are bringing to this connection at this time. What do we need to know about Pisces? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Pisces? Bountiful harvest and restoring balance. Um, growth, abundance, that's the Empress right there. That, that card was, in, the Bountiful Harvest card was inspired by the Empress. And then Restoring Balance. So I feel like um, some of you are possibly thinking about how to have harmony, peace, stability in your life again. Now this could be with this other person. Some of you might be wanting to resolve things with this person. But I feel like others of you are thinking um, that you just want to have, be somewhere or... Um, be recognized for what you bring to the table. Be recognized for the type of partner you are and get that in return. You know, like a seesaw, the six of pentacles here. I feel like that's what you would like. Can I get another one, please? Another energy for Pisces. Let me get another energy here for Pisces, please. I need to know. I don't need to know for Pisces. The peacock, yeah. This the peacock is almost like the nine of pentacles and very similar to the Empress. Um, the peacock uh, recognizes there is another card about kind of recognizing your worth, having more than just looks. You know, the peacock is almost like they have it all inner beauty compassion the beauty of the peacock is unrivaled the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward it does not harbor resentment conflict or past pain the peacock type is extremely rare 
not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of the self and of others. So yeah, this is this is very empress-like energy. This is somebody who um, is beautiful on the outside and on the inside, has a lot to offer the peacock. And maybe you are recognizing that you have a lot to offer right now, Pisces. Maybe you're recognizing that you know, it, it's not it's not worth it to be dealing with people beneath you. Let's look at this other person. Page of Pentacles reverse is reminding me a lot of this Queen of Pentacles reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse to me is somebody that cannot offer even a small thing or this offer is delayed somehow. So let's see what's going on here. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? King of Wands. King of Wands shows up again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Well, it's not because they don't want to. I feel like the attraction is there. The drive is there. The boldness is there. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Reverse. Yeah, Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody that they would like to make this offer. The Star, Aquarius energy here with the Six of Wands. This is someone that's hoping, having faith in success, hoping for success hoping for healing possibly so i think this person would love to make this offer tell me about this king of wands maybe they want to tell you with the knight of swords here tell me about the king of wands knight of wands yeah this is somebody that wants to come in hot that's this page of wands energy i'm starting to think a lot of fire energy here tell me about the king of wands this is someone very bold Wanting to act fast. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords are very fast. Two of Pentacles and Justice. So this person I feel has doubts about making things right. Um, goes back and forth about... I feel this person goes back and forth about doing the right thing. Like which approach would be the best. Libra Energy with Justice. And there you are Pisces with the Moon. So I think this person might be having doubts about how to make this happen, or perhaps they are appearing to be bolder and braver than they really are, right? Maybe they're, and with the moon, I'm also getting an illusion. Um, so be very careful because I'm getting the same energy that I got over here of someone that might appear like justice, right? But maybe they go back and forth, I don't know. I want to give this person the benefit of the doubt, but let me see. Can I get one more for this Two of Pentacles? Can I get one more, please, for the Two of Pentacles? The Fool. Okay, so this is someone that definitely wants to come forward, take a risk, a leap of faith, the chariot at the bottom of the deck, start over, start a new journey. They're definitely coming forward. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is gonna happen quickly, I feel, with the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Two of Cups. Wow. This could be a divine timing. This could be about a soulmate or someone that feels like, you know, they need to rush in and be with their person. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck again. Wow, Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Maybe they thought about it a lot. Maybe they want to heal this situation. This person definitely, they're coming towards you and they're coming in hot. And someone else had a reading like that. Cancer. I just did a reading for Cancer. Very similar energy. You could be dealing with someone that has Cancer in their chart. But I think with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of um, Cups, I think of like soulmate energy. I think of an opportunity for a true connection, a real connection. Um... I feel like this is this person's, your, your person's goal. Your person's goal is to turn things around, perhaps to come forward and have their soulmate or have their partner. 
win their partner is kind of what I'm getting here. Like they're 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 on a mission with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And the King of Wands, they're very charismatic, very powerful, the King of Wands. What they what they want, they usually get. They're not afraid to put themselves out there. Sometimes though, they like to act first and think later. Tell me about this person's energy, this person. Okay, my cards want to like fly out, but okay. Tell me about this person's energy, this person's energy towards Pisces. What do we need to know? This person's energy. Okay, we got three. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership, strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Cold shoulder, someone's feeling shut out and standing firm. You're standing firm against any challenge.